but there's a point in the in this little duo that you do with Maddie, whereby Romeo, death and Romeo start to to sort of merge, and she's seeing not only her lover but with morphing into death. We have to somehow signal that you are just in her little hallucinating mind. I'm sure we can do that with lighting. I'm sure we can do it with green makeup. We will. (laughs) (laughs) When you commission a new ballet, it's it's an exciting process. And because we have worked with Graham and Janet now so long, and his experience as a choreographer is so immense, the thought of what can we do with Graham that's going to, you know, challenge him, challenge us, challenge everyone. And I think he's great talent of telling a story in a narrative is is a, a very unique form for ballet or for dance in fact from here i just want to shaken baby syndrome i just want from here you actually um lift her onto onto a little no not on, um it's still on the floor but onto point just lift her up to there and i just want to shake the shoulders so, so that you have to really relax so that it's just completely flop form, yeah. And I would love it on point 30, it's taking you out and bringing you back in. So form. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's try it on flat. Crack, did I hear a crack? <laughs> I, think, I think we need to just keep it more... Um, a little contained, yeah. like yeah. a vibration. That's yeah. beautiful. Oh, That's better. Yeah. The vibration's oh, better. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. What I love is the challenge of finding a new way of interpreting a story that has been reinterpreted a million times. Everything from West Side Story to a Baz Luhrmann production to a million ballets that have been done on this subject. Nice and slow and under and rond. The challenge rond. now is to find a rond. way that excites a new audience. And under. For me, the fascination of dealing with Romeo and Juliet, which is known to everybody as a famous Shakespearean work. And ponch. Finding a way beyond words, because dance is not dealing in words. Beautiful. Rond. I love that. <laughs> Keep going. One more. <laughs> See, you're not under control. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> he's using the foundation of what we do, you know, the classical ballet technique, but he's always challenging it, he's always updating it, he's Just always finding thing. new ways of using that technique. And I think that's why his works are so relevant to the dancers today, so loved by the audiences today. And he really gives us a whole new look at what ballet can be. That was great. I'm, I'm that. Basically, I think we can get her into that position, but you can also support her into that. On my, be- uh, on my on belly? Your belly. Yeah. On, on your belly, on his shin, on their shins. Just roll into that, that's it. Okay. Now keep going back, boys. Pull her, Pull, <laughs> lift her leg. You know, to collapse into a heap laughing when something goes wrong is a much better way than to collapse in a heap of tears. <laughs> okay, now just extend your legs up and hold support her. Laughter is a physically relaxing thing. If you have a tension, an unnatural tension in a rehearsal space, <laughs> you get rigidity and not flow and not relaxation. No. If we go to that position here, the act of lowering might actually allow us to oh, do yes. that. Yeah. Okay. That's a big question. The classical ballet is traditionally, you fight gravity, you defy gravity, you float above it, you get on points so that you don't look like you're attached to the floor. Contemporary dance really loves, um, that is the source of your jump, that is the source of your energy, you're you're like a plant taking nutrition out of that. These dancers can do both. Well, that's a beautiful position, Vaughan. That was great. (laughs) 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 you have to accept that you are going to one minute be way above the floor and the next minute groveling on it extend bring the legs down using that i love your work and when when you've done that the dimensions change you're in a third dimension you are just going in and out and that's a beautiful thing okay and relax put it down yeah yeah Yeah. great Mm -hmm. that's good that was great (laughs) Okay, let's have a little play.